She is a grandmother on a quest to get justice for her two grandchildren, a brother and sister who both died under mysterious circumstances. No one has been charged or even named as a suspect in their deaths. Lisa Guerrero with more on a grandmother's grief and her search for answers. We're doing an investigation into the deaths of Darby and Kira, and I'd like to know what happened to them because you were there when both of them died. Yeah. Sir, don't touch me. Don't get the f out of my face, bitch. Did this man, Cody Cummings, kill his girlfriend's two children, 18 month old Darby and four year old Kira? The children's grandmother thinks he did. How do you think your grandchildren died? My grandchildren were murdered. And I'm hitting the road with her as she seeks justice. What is the one consistent factor in both Darby and Kira's death? Cody was there the night that both children were injured. So you're convinced that it's Cody that had something to do with Darby and Cody. Kira's death? I believe Cody killed both of the children. Cheryl Hodges is taking a cue from the hit movie Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri by trying to embarrass officials into taking action. Why did you put up these billboards? My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. The only time they've really done it is is when I have rattled their cage. 18 month old Darby died in Kalispell, Montana in 2010. The autopsy said the cause of death was undetermined, but he had two broken ribs and multiple contusions on his body. Shockingly, his sister, four year old Kira, died just 10 weeks later, 1600 miles away in Republic, Missouri. Her autopsy says she had severe head trauma. Hi, sir. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. First, we spoke to investigator Tom Vanderberg in the medical examiner's office in Missouri, where Kira died. Cody what Cummings to told authorities the little girl slipped on a towel in the bathroom and hit her head, an account the autopsy said was disproportionate with her injuries. She had an obvious head injury, which caused her death. Next, we headed to the prosecutor's office. Can't talk about the facts of the case with the media, so I'm not going to do that. The children's grandmother spoke to him in private, but emerged just as discouraged as before. Cheryl? Did you feel, Cheryl, like you were getting the runaround today? I told him I felt like I've gotten a runaround the whole time. We also went to Montana, where 18-month-old Darby died. That's where we caught up with the children's mother, Julia. She was once married to Cheryl's son. Hi, Julia. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. I'd like to ask you about the deaths of your children. Did your husband, Cody, have anything to do with the deaths of Darby or Kira? The children's grandmother had some serious questions. Who killed your kids, Julia? Your children's did you... grandmother has something to ask you. Did you kill the kids or did Cody kill the kids? Who did it? Julia Tell was us, dating Cody Cummings when her children died. They are now married. Cody Cummings is no stranger to law enforcement. Currently, there's a warrant out for his arrest for aggravated assault in an unrelated case. And he was recently arrested for use of a firearm while committing a felony. Can you explain why Darby had broken ribs and why Kira had head injuries? Uh, do your research, dumbass. Did you kill Darby and Kira? Shut the f up. Cheryl regularly visits the children's graves, hoping that someday soon she will obtain justice for the little ones. And that's my mission from now until I die. Julia and Cody Cummings deny any involvement in the children's death, which are both still under investigation.